Hey, welcome back guys, I'm Matt and we're back in the shed. If you didn't see the last video, I dismantled everything in the shed. We've uh, moved the drawers. The drawers are just gonna move around at the moment. We're going to be upgrading to another system, so we'll move all the tools into that and then get rid of the drawers fully. We got rid of the shelving, got rid of all the other tools on the walls, all the hangers. What else, what else? We got rid of all the Milwaukee pack out that was on the wall, got rid of a light. And we have the insulation now, which is what we are about to do. We're going to take down some of these timber pieces. We have got studs, as you can see, I've put studs roughly there, there, there. That's where the joins are. And I'm hoping we can actually only take off one, maybe at each end and stuff them through. No idea if that's gonna work. I uh, can't remember what it actually looks like in there because we do have a steel noggin and it's uh, timber studs. So we'll start taking off these and we'll start filling them up with insulation so that we can bring the temperature down in this hot box and uh, also the sound. The sound hopefully won't be as bad in here. Let's jump into it. I'm just using the M12 Impact. Love this thing. This is like six years old now. So all I'm gonna go and do is Take out each one of these on at least one of these panels. Take it off and have a look at what's inside. So that's the first panel off and that's beautiful. So I should be able to stuff most of them down both ways, no problem. And I'll do a bit of a tidy up and I might even uh, fix up these power cables. But that's uh, absolutely brilliant. That's better than what I remember. It was probably a bit over a year ago that I did this, so yeah. Absolutely fantastic. It's also crazy how much timber has built up in here over the last year. It's most likely from me blowing. Some of it would have gone over the top because I gather a lot of dust and stuff from um, timber works. I don't really have a good extraction system at the moment. And also when I'm blowing it out, it probably goes up there and gets in there. So time for a good clean out. There's panel two out, more build up. And I did just see a Huntsman, that's probably about that big. She's in there somewhere, you can see there's a dead one. So we'll wait for that to jump out and grab us. The joys of Australia. Might be a good chance to uh, fill these gaps. Started doing that a while ago, as you can see, but I didn't take off the paneling, I just threw it under there, so. Something else we gotta do. So I've been using this ladder. I showed a little bit of it in the last video, but as you can see, you've got little uh, wheels on this end. And what that allows you to do is if you just want to move it around the shop like this, like I am at the moment, rather than lifting the whole thing, all you have to do is lift up the end. Roll it over, no dragon. How good's that? That's the little giant safety steps. So I'm just gonna use the Milwaukee wet dry vac, go through, just give it a bit of a clean up, just in those few spots. I'll try to get down the sides there. Get rid of this, just because I can. Really, I don't have to. But I guess while it's open, we'll give it a go. This is one of the first versions of it. As you can see, this doesn't even hide inside. You can't even put it inside the uh, top there. The newer ones you can. But she's still going, barely. She's falling apart, as you can see. 
that's what I've uh, had to resort to. And this bit's coming out, not great. Definitely wanting to upgrade to the new fuel pack out version and also the M12. We've done a quick clean up. It's not in depth, but we got rid of a lot of the dust. And what I think I might do is jump down to Mitre 10 and we'll grab some filler just to fill up these few spots. I think that's about it. I think I've done the rest, but I'll go through, have a look, and uh, we'll fill up those gaps just so that it's a little bit more insulated. You're not gonna get any uh, airflow through there and also the little creatures, all the uh, spiders. I haven't found him yet. I saw him, he was down there. He'll jump out soon. I reckon maybe I should get one of these. There's a fair bit to scrape off the ground. May as well grab one. So you just got the tube. Ooh, a little bit coming out. Look at that. Throw that on top. Twist it. <laughs> it's best to shake it a bit first, eh? So, just getting all uh, safety geared up. Got my mask. It's been a while since I've used this hard with the gloves on. So you just hook that on there. And this bit pulls down. Tight fit. That's how you release it. Got my gloves, long sleeves. I've also got long pants on. You don't want to be working with insulation without gear on, guys. It just gets itchy. Once you cut that packet open, you can see how much actually fits in there. But look at that. It fits like a glove. I could not ask for much more. It's absolutely perfect. So I'll throw one there, and I'll throw one into this one, into this part here. Then from this side, I'll throw another one in there. Do the same with the floor, or the uh, bottom level. And we'll work our way around. Then we'll do this side. Shouldn't really take too long and uh, couldn't have picked a better time to do it. Midday, in a shed, fully sleeved up, midsummer, perfect.
Oh, losing weight. <laughs> Welcome to the sauna. Last wall down, that's a bigger panel, which is good I guess. We'll take off that, throw them down there, throw them down there, I'm really hoping that'll fit. Should be right, got them down the other, so. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh, that's the insulation done. Other than the ceiling, which won't be done this weekend, I reckon that might be done next, maybe next week or the week after. Maybe never. <laughs> All right, let's get this back up and um, the insulation is done. So to step this up, you want to keep it off the floor just in case it floods. Um, I've got no worries of water getting in, but if it ever does, you don't want the timber to get wet. This is just MDF, so it'll swell pretty quick. All I do is throw a piece of timber under it, keeps it all the same level. And you can just kick it under. Get it like that, there we go. Beautiful, exact same spot. Turn this fan off, eh? She's been on all day and uh, it's definitely helped. But check out the shirt, absolutely covered. That's why you gotta wear one. Just get all itchy. But that's it. That is all the insulation in. Definitely happy we're done with this. This was uh, probably the most annoying part. Uh, the ceiling shouldn't be too bad, but we'll definitely see when we get to that. And uh, next week we're gonna be doing the floor. I'm probably gonna start prepping it today. So yeah, we've got a fair bit of cleanup as you can see. We'll spend the afternoon just tidying up, fixing a couple of the edges. We'll be using that scraper I just got for a few bits and pieces around the place. We've got some paint over here. As you can see a bit of paint. But yeah, stay tuned for that.